What up my freaks, Ruinous Insight here with part 2 of my Warhammer 40k mechanic campaign. So as we saw last time, this is the Cestus Metallican and the tutorial is complete. So now we are ready to actually jump into the missions offered by the various tech priests that we have on board. But right before we do that... We have our tiny little cohort available, which should fill up as we go along. Last time we upgraded Magos Minarius to a Dominus-type Magos, so a long-range weapon specialist. However, we still have Magos Jeremiah over here, who is sadly unupgraded, and we do have the Blackstone to do so. So... Let's see what we got here. Now, I think this time we are going to go with a Xenorite for him because it is the new Heretic Discipline, and I think we should make use of it. Plus, I'm kind of interested to see whether Zealous Metals over here, which restores 1 HP at the beginning of its turn, will stack with the auto repair of the Engine Seer. Maybe it'll be able to restore 2 HP per beginning of turn, and that would make a pretty damn powerful tank. So that's the plan. Let's do that. There we go. Now, Xenorite can apparently take a... Alright, you can take a melee weapon and one of these guns as well. Or, one of these guns. That is a backpack slot and not a gun slot. I don't know what I'm talking about. And I'm pretty sure we can't bring two guns, so... Alright, I think that'll work out. So that's good like that. At least for now, we are at 0% Awakening. Let's get some more stuff now. We have Skavola over here. Oh, so we can only... We only have these two tech priests right now. Scavola would give us the Arc Pistol, which is a nice little uh, pistol that does a cone attack, as well as the Curatio or Curatio Claw, which does allow you to heal, which might be good on that uh, tanky fella over there. Whereas you, the Dex, what do you give us? You give us Omnissiah Axe, so a more powerful axe that immobilizes the target and an Omnispecs. 50% chance to miss you with attacks. I mean, that's good for very powerful weapon, for powerful stuff, but I think I'm going to go with Scavola because A, I like Scavola because I don't know what its gender is. It's funny, but uh, regardless. Let's see. The Killing Jar. Tech Acquisitor Scavola wishes to begin. Oh, her research. There we go. Thank you for pointing that out, game. Uh, Wishes to begin her research into the secrets of the Necrons and has asked for specimens of the enemy to be gathered. Alrighty, let's do it. Alright, here you choose which tech priests and troops to take on a mission. Yes, I know that, thank you. Use left map. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, well, we only have two tech priests, so we're bringing them both. And I guess we'll bring a bunch of servitors as well. Now, we only don't have any canticles available except this Litany of Life, so that's the only one we're bringing. And let's do it. Tech Acquisitor Scavola, I asked you on this mission because of your experience with surveying alien artifacts and organisms. And so the heretics of Stygis 8 can plunder this world for its secrets. Your assertion equals false. If objection concerns offense, go to different mission. <laughs> And leave you free to do as you will. A dereliction of logic, Scavola. Makarian 16.4. Watch your brother, for his sin of heresy is thy sin of tolerance. Silva Tenebris evaluation commences. Wonders, opportunities, secrets. A rare chance for discovery intelligence on Xenos. Must not fail to exploit. The logic of your enthusiasm eludes me, Tech Acquisitor. My emotional cores return only peril to our mission personnel and the threat of the awakening Xenos. Therefore, I am on this mission. My role equals gather intelligence, seek truth, return to human comprehension, dictates of Mars retrieval, gather knowledge for the good of all. And how are you to go about that, Skavola? Field operations in person equals suboptimal. Sending tech priests instead equals optimal. <laughs> that is, that's 100% accurate. Just make sure they're wearing red shirts. And fortunately, if they're tech priests of Mars... Alright, regardless. First objective, gather field specimens for study. Location, Tomb of Acropis. Commence immediately. Yes. Alright, what do we got here? Kefra. Or Kepra. 
Given the reports from the Tomb of Acropis, there should be plenty of samples in there for you to collect, Magos. Of course, but first you have to kill them. My talents equals dissection after the fact. I leave the location, identification, execution to you. To your tech priests, Magos. I trust this will be worth the effort, Scabola. These are no mere labor servitors we are risking in these tombs. These are men and women, fellow devotees of the cult Mechanicus. Agreed, Mag. Valid point raised. Ensure human corpses are returned as well. Opportunity to study the effect of necrot technology on human flesh. <laughs> Scavola is my favorite character in this game. All right. All right. Let's uh, let's go here then. I mean, it's the only way we can go. We got. Looks like we got a glyph over here. Speculation. Tombs possess autonomous repair, defense, maintenance capabilities. Further study equals yes. Have some collected for me, Faustinius. Ah, what do we have here? We have Acquire Plus. Collect a couple scarabs for study. Collect several scarabs for study. It isn't how they act as a group that the greatest insights will be found. Hmm. Now, since this is a Scavola mission... I feel like we gotta collect many scarabs, even though I feel like it won't end well. Gotta RP that. Conclusion commences. Scarabs, not individual constructs, but resources. Resource of the tomb itself. Whole tomb is form of Necron construct. Men's formulation, wondrous kaleidoscope of hypotheses. Oh, that actually turned out well. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm absolutely shocked here. Well, the Omnissiah rewards. Alright, with some difficulty, the cohort heard a dozen or s of... A dozen of so, a dozen or so, come on devs, scarabs into a specimen vault and cram them inside, sealing the vessel. More scarabs swarm out from a previously unseen aperture, revealing they must have a system of passageways throughout the tomb so they can be sent where needed. Cool. Alright, uh, I guess we're gonna go here and then here and then here and... We got lots of stuff here. Let's see. Acquire, commence enthusiasm. Acquire at all costs. One of the Necron Warforms remains after the rest of the fallen constructs teleport away. It fades in and out of reality as if about to disappear. Grab the Necron to, for transport. Take target sensor readings of the Necron as it phases out. Let's take sensor readings. Data retrieve cogitating. Error 404 does not conform to known reality. Data does not conform to known reality. Known reality correction required. Fascinating. Oh wow, full uh, cognition points to start with on our battle. Beautiful. This is going surprisingly well. <laughs> Alright, ne Necrons are awakening. Our presence have been detected, unfortunately. Yes, yes, yes. They waken, and as they waken, more power they become more powerful. Thank you, Redditors. Self-preservation versus curiosity. Conflict unresolved. Deser desirous of known knowing what purpose chamber serves. The chamber ahead is lined with glowing green cylinders, each pulsing with power. The air is thick and greasy, and the arcs of and arcs of static electricity leap from the cohort's extremities as they approach. This chamber is almost certainly extremely dangerous, but it is the only way forward. Let's see, try to understand purpose, move through the chamber with extreme caution, or shut it down. Uh, let's see, shutting down would probably make the Necrons angry. Hmm. But I feel like shutting down would also be like an attempt to study it in addition. Let's try to shut it down. Quick thinking, Megos. When problem exists equals true, correct application of tech lore equals always successful. Alright, we got some money out of that, or a blackstone rather. The cohort removes the casing at the base of one of the glowing cylinders. The harmful radiation that leaks out is perhaps to be expected, but by severing the exposed circuits, the devices are shut down long enough to move through the chamber without suffering further harm. Alright, a little bit of increase in awakening, but that's alright. It is an early mission after all. Ah, we got a glyph here. Beautiful. 
All right, this panel controls a heavy door leading to a treasure room beyond, which is filled with cognition. If we can work out the right commands, then we can reap the rewards within. Now, the first time I played this game, I recall that there were glyphs all over the place. I never figured out if or whether there was an actual system to them, or whether they're just completely random. If somebody does know that the answer to that question from their own uh, experiences with the game, do let me know. So I'm going to just pick it random. Let's go with this one. Our got dick. <laughs> yeah, every t I feel like every time I choose one of the glyphs, I get damaged or something. Well, regardless, a container, blah, blah, blah. We already read that. Wait. No, we haven't. A container of some sort that seemingly has raw binary seething within. Raw binary? What the hell? Clearly it is of Xenos origin. Sparks of data leak through the- oh, three, through the aged sealant used to contain the treasure within. Okay, this is just hurting- the, the idea- I guess they're all seeing stuff through the new sphere, so they're, uh aware of it like that, but uh, the very idea is kind of freaking me out. Alright, let's go in here now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Extra Necrons in battle, more Awakening life. Opportunity detected. Necron combat tactics, weapons, weaponry capabilities illuminated. Study required. What do we got here? This chamber shows signs having the scene of a brutal gunfight. Two Skatari lie dead with marks from Goss blasts all over the walls. Huh. Neat. I feel like there wouldn't be anywhere near this much corpse left, but whatever. Let's see, examine, examine the chamber for here, for data on the combat that took place here. Say a prayer for the fallen Skitari. The cult mechanicus exhorts its soldiers to memor memorialize their losses. Salvage wood gear you can from the dead. Yes. Oh wow. Awakening. Damn. Alright, but at least we got money. We should be able to make up for this in terms of battle. Let's see what this... Okay, well, another glyph. Well, let's go this one again. Wow, you got 2 HP, but you got nothing. A container of some sort of... Alright, it's... Uh, we already read that last time. It's exactly the same. Alright, and time to go here. Let's fight. Now, the Necrons do have a lot of buffs here for this uh, final fight. So we gotta be a little bit more careful. But we do have plenty of Cognition points. Oh, hello. Oh, cool. It kind of like moves up like that. I like that. Now, Necrons are here. Let's see. Oh, we got Necrons coming in from here, here, here. Hmm. All right. So what do you have? Eight, eight meter range on this and 12 meter range on this. So you are a longer range fella. I think you can go here. And you are a shorter range fella, I guess you're gonna go here, you're gonna see if you can't grab that cognition point. Yes. And let's see, let's put one servitor here, one servitor here, and one servitor here. There we go. Alright, you are going to go here, and you're going to stand here and wait for the enemy to come along. Oh, we can destroy this thing to uh, reduce awakening, I'm pretty sure. He's moving. Is he going to be able to fire at us? He is not, but we can fire at him, can we not? You, Skull. Reveal this guy's stats, please. Alright, he has energy armor. It's a little bit unfortunate, but uh, he can still do some damage, I think. Grab that cognition point, and let's start firing at him. I do like how the game switches to new sphere view with all these like uh, symbols and data stuff, everything represented in like uh, matrix type uh, code and stuff. That's really cool. It's a really cool idea. Alright, well, this is going to do barely any damage. Yeah, well, we can't hit the other guy anyway, so we might as well charge the machine spirit of these weapons. Yes, and we got a critical, so we at least got some damage. Now, you can go into here. And I guess you can end the turn. While you are going to go... Let's say over here. Keep out of range of these guys. And end your turn. And you are going to go right here. I don't know where the enemy units will arrive. But if they arrive here, we will be able to attack them immediately. Alright, this guy's coming along. That's perfectly fine. You. Can you get in range with your... Uh, oh, you also have an energy pistol. We don't have, have any macro stubbers. That's not that good. All right, then. Oh, we got to get here to actually scan that? Damn. All right, well then. You are going to grab here. 
There you go, you got a cognition point. Now you're going to go here and scan this nonsense. There we go. 75 Blackstone, beautiful. More upgrades for our tech priests coming in then. Now you are going to go here. Keep your distance. I'm not going to waste any more cognition points. You're just going to end your turn. You can't fire at these guys because you're out of range. Alright, new round. But we got cognition. We are not going to summon the servitor yet. We are going to start moving these servitors forward. Uh, let's see. Let's move you here. In front of this guy. We can hit this thing. I do wonder what'll happen. I'm pretty sure that destroying it will give us a uh, reduction in awakening, but we're gonna find out. Now you, you're still not close enough, which is perfect, because we can actually go right here, and we can fire at you twice. Nice. And let's fire at you again. Very nice. So we got some damage there, this guy's not dead yet. But you can move back into here, now that you're done firing, and just end your turn. You, start moving maybe right here. If they want to approach, they'll get wrecked. You're going to end the turn right there. Now you are going to delay. Other fellas moving, he's not in range. You. You can, let's see, what can you do? We can move here. Fire at this guy. Damn, we really need some macro stuppers. Yeah, damage absorbed, unfortunately. Uh. Hmm. Oh, you're a little bit too close. I don't like that. Maybe we gotta move back into here, actually. And you're going to pop. Ah, eh, just do it. It's a waste of cognition points, but I want to destroy this thing. And now you can use the ability to move a little bit further back. Keep yourself- Oh, I shouldn't have moved here. Enemies might spawn there as well. Alright, you're in- Alright, we got Canoptic Scarabs coming in from here. That's okay. That's more than I expected, but it's okay. Alright, you grab that Cognition Point immediately. Aha! New Necron Warrior over here. Alright, let's pop another Servitor right here, then. Now you. I think you can smack this thing. Alright, that should reduce... Yes, reduced... Re yes. That's what we want. Now, you're going to move right over, let's say, here. In front of this guy. Keep him defended, I suppose. Now, these guys can't fire at anybody yet. Oh, they are... Oh, he's close enough to fire this guy. Alright. That's fine, that's just fine. We got a cognition point out of that, which is what we wanted. Now you. This guy is absorbing everything you do, so maybe we go here and fire at this guy instead. Let's see. Reveal this guy's stats, please. Yes, alright, this guy has no armor against that stuff. So we are going to pop energy weapon at you. And we are going to pop energy weapon at you again. Oh, and now this guy has aggro at us. That's a little bit unfortunate. Let's move you all the way back, let's say, here. And we are not going to waste another cognition point. Let's end the turn here. You, you need to go up right here and smack this fella. Huh. Now that I look at it, one of the comments pointed out that uh, the Necron Warriors don't have a melee attack, so we can uh, force attacks of opportunity... Oh, these guys do have attacks of opportunity. Okay, whatever. Maybe they didn't in the tutorial mission. That was weird. Maybe some of them do and some of them don't. These guys clearly have that uh, axe type thing. Oh, okay. So they don't actually have their melee weapon. They have attacks of opportunity in the manner that they will uh, attack you if you try to move away. But they don't have attacks of oppor They don't have melee weapons. Even though, lore, from a lore perspective, they do actually have melee weapons. They absolutely do. It's just a lie, game. Why do you lie? Alright, this guy's absorbing their damage, unfortunately, but they are keeping him busy, so that's fine. 
Uh, we got the Canoptic Scarabs coming in soon. Uh, you're probably going to kill this fella, but that's alright. That's perfectly fine. Now you. You're going to move up right here, and you're going to use your, uh... Your stuff. Ugh. I'm kind of tempted to, uh... Run up and melee this guy, but, uh... I think he will be able to get an attack of opportunity on us, but maybe it'll be worth it. Let's risk it. Let's risk it. Sometimes you gotta risk it. Come on, come on, don't. Kill him, kill him. Yes, perfect. Ooh, alright, that worked out. Now you are going to pop this servo skull, grab that cognition point here. And then you are going to move back behind here to hide. Perfect. And now you're going to end your turn. Alrighty, doing good here. Now you are going to move up a little bit. Uh, wait. When is their next Necron firing? Hmm. Maybe there's no point in moving up. I, not what I meant to do. You know what? You just sit here for now. Delay your turn. You. You can finish off this guy, or you can move over here. Oh, these guys are all blocking you, aren't they? Yeah, they're both blocking you. Let's delay your turn. This guy's going to kill one of these guys, and then you'll be able to fire. You can either take the attack and move out of the way. You know, let's do it. Just take the attack. Move out of the way. Fine. You're just a servitor. That's what you're there for. One damage? Yeah, that's really weak. That's actually good for us. Huh. Oh, his machine spirit is charged now. Oh, I should have smacked him. Whoops. That was an error. You, smack him please. That'll do more damage. I didn't realize that Servitor Machine Spirits also got charged. That's actually real nice. You just stay as you are, buddy. Alright, now you. Huh. I'm pretty sure you could finish this guy off. Right from... I don't know, let's go right here. Let's fire this thing. If he doesn't die, then we'll move in for the kill with the axe. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to move in to the... Damn. Yeah, one damage, of course. <laughs> Alright, move up. Kill him with your axe, buddy. There you go. Alright, that guy's done. You can start moving away. And this guy can finish that off. Alright, you're going to end your turn. Now you. You start moving up. We really need to get rid of this guy. Alright, I guess you're going to go right here. A little bit closer. You. First things first, you destroy this guy. There you go. And now you destroy these scarabs, I guess. Yeah, Necrons keep awakening, we need to kill them all. And... There we go, now you go back into here and hide. There we go. And... Actually go over here. There, enter. Why did I do that? I should've just stayed there to get, get that again. Alright, this guy's moving first, now you. You can delay. You can go right out here. Oh, you could take pot shots as their actual warrior form instead of the scarabs, can't you? Hmm, maybe we do that. Maybe I like that. You are going to go here. Oh, we could also destroy this one scarab. There we go. That worked out. Destruction is indeed the destiny of Xenos, and now you are going to reveal this guy's stats. What do we got here? 11, no armor on this fella. So, we can feel free to take shots at him. There we go. Now you move back into here, grab that free cognition point when you need it, even though right now you don't, end your turn. You start moving over here. You are going to take a hit, but whatever. Doesn't really matter if you die. Move here. This is the last mission of this, so it's not like we're saved. We need to save anybody. 
Alright, that corpse is now gone, so we're fine there. And you can start moving ahead. And your turn. What are they- oh, they're repairing him. Huh. Interesting scarabs, interesting. Are you going to die? No, you're going to just survive. Beautiful. And you can go in and start taking pot shots at that fellow as well. Your machine spirit is charged, so let's do that. Alright, and move a little bit away, I think. End turn, please. You. You know what? Start, start approaching. Begin with the bum rush. And you are going to end the turn as well. Extra necron- oh great, more necrons are coming. <laughs> Alright, you need to go up and uh, start uh, smacking this guy around. We just gotta make sure not to interfere with anybody else's uh, ability to shoot at him. So smack him, please. Alright, you're good now. End the turn. You. Go here. Both of your machine spirits are charged, so let's fire at this guy. If we get at least one crit, this guy will be dead. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Crit him. Crit him. Damn it, no crit. Well, that's a shame. Alright, you're coming back into here and you're going to hide. End turn. You. Oh, you're close enough to smack him. Yes, finish him off, please. There we go. Beautiful. That's the end of you. And you're fine as you are. You are fine as you are as well. Scarabs are gonna kill this little fella. Oh, they're not good. They're gonna go for this guy. Acid, eh? I take it that means he takes damage per turn. Now you. You can fire at this fella. Yeah, I guess you go here and fire at him. Alright, these scarabs aren't going to survive for very long. End turn, please. End turn, please. Nothing we can do about you. And, alright, finish off these scarabs. And I believe that's it for this mission. Beautiful. No threat remaining. Some nice little upgrades for our cohort, it looks like. Circumstances evaluation. Confirmed disappointing. Necrons employ teleportation technology to achieve post-destruction discorporation. Interrogative. Where do the remains go? Fascination intensifies. <laughs> Alright, upon destruction the Necron constructs vanish, leaving no samples to be collected. Let's see, we could archive, take picked grabs of the damage of the Necron weapons, at least this information may be of use, analyze. Search for the chamber for any components that might have been missed by the teleportation effect. Move on, hoping the next combat will yield... Well, we are definitely going to be curious. Picts or analysis? You know, let's go with analyze. Oh, a free thing. Cool. Energy enhancer. All energy attacks gain plus one energy damage for one round. Very nice. The cohort is slowed down by the search, giving the enemy the chance to respond to their location. However, they uncover several samples of technology of uncertain purpose that might contain valuable materials. Alright. Mission complete. The cohort returns from the tomb, frustrated by the lack of physical samples of Necron constructs. However, the data they have gathered on the phasing out of Necron remains is illuminating in itself. Valuable data present. Greater than past. Totality of human knowledge increased. Mission conclu conclusion positive. I cannot say I can support your conclusion, Skavola. Beneficial conclusion itemization follows. Necron discorporation witnessed. Enemy constructs destroyed greater than zero. <laughs> ah, okay. Wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Necron combat performance evaluated. Shouldn't that be the other way around? This is less than zero. Enemy construct destroyed less than... Okay, whatever. Necron combat performance evaluated. Chances of functioning Necron available for dissection increased. My emotional cores are returning sensations of frustration and resentment, and I choose to acknowledge them. The lives of my tech priests are not there to be risked for the fulfillment of your desires, tech acquisitor. They are there to be risked for the acquisition of intelligence, learning, sacred knowledge. Your understanding equals approvable. <laughs> yes, Skavola.
Alrighty, so our troops fine. Let's see, we got a bunch we got more uh, materials to use, mission status success, and we got some new stuff, beautiful. Don't care all that much about the Curatio Claw, but whatever. Alright. Mouse ha, huh, it counts your mouse clicks, I like that. I do like that. More stats, please. Cant of the Craft. The next physical attack damage will deal plus three physical damage. Nice. Oh, damn, I should have used that canticle that we had. Because, uh, the way to get more canticles is by using canticles. Yes, yes, yes. This is a list of technologies, I know. Thank you. <sighs> Dear STC, Frank, blah, 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 these sports, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, all right. Okay, okay, yes, true. Wow, that's a lot of troops, actually, but, uh, okay, stop. Please, please stop. This is what I wanted to see. These are the canticles, so... We get another cant of the craft by completing another mission. And, uh, yeah, f complete missions, use canticles. Yes, yeah, so we get to this by just using canticle. We gotta keep doing that. A lot of these will just... do themselves, basically, so we'll figure that out as it goes. Alright, let's go to Cohort. See if we can't upgrade these fellas. We don't have any new tech priests, unfortunately, so we're just going to have to keep upgrading these two. Uh, Jeremiah, now you have your axe. I guess we're going to keep that. I'm tempted to get give you the uh, the arc pistol, give you the cone attack. Although maybe the other guy can have the arc pistol instead. Hmm, kind of tempting. You know what? No. You have the Arc Pistol. Okay, yeah, okay, fine. Arc Pistol, go here. And do we upgrade you again? Let's see. What does this give you? Oh, we can give you more stuff. Add 3x HP, 2x HP to max, plus 20% critical chance. It's not bad. I like the critical chance. Wow, 5 max HP. That's also very nice. This guy would become very tanky. I'm, oh man, these are both really good. Do we give him more damage or do we give him more... Uh, I think we'll give with uh, plus 5 max HP for this guy. He'll be our main tank. But maybe I'll get another half Xenorite, half Explorator, and we'll give him this uh, critical chance leg augment because the Explorator is a melee-oriented, fast-moving type dude. So yeah, let's go with this. Okay. And let's, uh, well, let's customize that, so we'll give you that. Very cool. Oh, wow. It's all green, too. <laughs> You're already starting to look like a heretic, bud. Now, do we have another slot available here? Or is all our augment capacity filled? Yeah, no. Damn. I guess we could upgrade this guy again. Gain plus one to damage. After making an attack, the unit loses one HP. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that right now. He can still be a tank. Close that. Let's go to our m other Magos. M Mr. Minarius over here. Let's upgrade you as well. Keep moving through Dominus for now, I think. I don't think anything else is necessary. I mean, Cognition Freedom is nice, but... Uh, yeah. And we're not really using that much troops either. Not yet. Although I will absolutely get a Secutor later. Alright, let's get this. Plus one energy damage. Ooh, nice. Plus one energy armor. I mean, I'm going to keep this guy in the back and try to do as much damage with him as possible, so I think I'm going to go with plus one energy damage. Let's get that. Let's see what his arms look like with this. Oh, cool. I, I love the way this game does this. Very nice. And let's see, do we have enough Blackstone to upgrade him again? No, we don't. So that's all we can do for now. So let's go back to mission and let's take another one. Now we got, uh, we got more from Skavola. Oh, and we get Flayed Ones and a Destroyer here. Wow. We also get Cognition, Gauge, Max, Increase by one. Oh, wow. Very nice. Cog, Ocul, Taurus. At the start of battle, the unit appears untargetable until he performs an attack. Gain plus 25 critical... Ch oh, cool. Oh, that's new. I don't think I saw that. I mean, granted, I haven't played much of this before. That's really cool. What about you? What do you got? Oh, you still have this. Eh. 
I think I'm gonna go with Skavola again. This says it's easy. I'm going to believe you, Skavola, even though that's a destroyer. I'm going to believe you. Don't screw me. Alright, the works of the enemy. The Skatari in the Tomb of Acropis have encountered a destroyer form of Necron that uses anti-gravitational technology. Tech Acquisitor Skavola has requested a cohort engage Necron destroyers so this technology can be studied. Let's do it. Can we bring two copies of the same thing? No, we cannot. Alright, well then. Magos, Magos, and lots of servitors. Let's do it. Skavola, reports received from Subdomina Kefra. Synopsis follows. Heavy resistance, minimal gains, mounting casualties. Confirm. Yes, no. Correct. There have been setbacks. Our troops have encountered a new Necron war form. Reaction equals delight. <laughs> Ray, Tech Acquisitor, explain. Enemy Warform, Provisional Designation Destroyer, Anti-Grav Technology Confirmed, Exploratory Request, File Access. Anti-Gravitational Technology is an area Stygis 8 Magos, have requested as high priority. Study of Provisional Designation Destroyer, Desirable, Necessary, Sacred Duty. And you would be famed throughout Stygis 8 for exploiting this technology. Statement Agreement, Request Formulation Follows, Commence Deployment Immediately. <laughs> Ah, Skavola. Alright, a concentration of Necron destroyers is playing merry hell with our Skitari units in the Tomb of Acropis. They are highly mobile and heavily armed weapons platforms. Taking them on is dangerous in the extreme. Yes, it is. Reason to observe them. Our troops possessing such technology extrapolated to conclusion. Greatly increased battlefield effectiveness. I was, was, I was raised to see that as dangerous thinking, Magos. Put such piety aside for now, Subdomina. Is the cohort ready to advance? They are. I have plotted the likely location of the destroyer units. They are somewhere within this complex. The fortune of Mars be with you. I really hope the uh, destroyers aren't as powerful as that uh, lord or destroyer lord was. Well, let's find out. Mission relevant to opportunity. Combat data on provisional designation destroyers. Acquire, ignore. Uh, obviously acquire, Skavola. Let's see, this chamber is the site of a skirmish between a unit of Skitari and the Necron destroyers. A few corpses badly mauled by Gauss fire lie around a hurriedly erected flak weave barricade. Peruse, examine the marks of Necron fire and other evidence for an information on the Necron's destroyer, Necron destroyer's combat tactics. Procure search the fallen for useful supplies. Pray. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Acquiring knowledge is a form of prayer. I'm kind of tempted to search them for supplies. Although, this might help as well. Let's do this. Calculation commences. Lives of Skatari troopers. Additional Necron combat data. Calculation complete. Exchange justified. Plus two combat points. Or, uh, cognition points, rather. The cohorts spend a long time documenting the weapon marks and wound patterns left by the destroyers. These particular Necrons seem to use their mobility to unleash massive targeted firepower against key targets. Yes, thank you. Alright, let's keep moving. The Lives of the Logic Saints, Psalm 61. Even in death our duty is not complete. A mortally wounded Skitari lies on the floor of this chamber, his torso laid open by Gauss fire. He was evidently caught in a fired fight and left behind when his unit fell back. It is likely the Skitari were attacked by Necron destroyers. This Skitari might have witnessed their tactics up close. Download. Access the trooper's internal cogitators for data recorded. Nice. Administer medical assistance. Interrogate the trooper. Let's download. Alright, we got two more cognition points. The cohort inserts a data probe into the dying trooper's cortical port. The shock of extracting the data of his final moments finishes him off, but the cohort acquires several minutes worth of data showing the destroyers emerging from the shadows in perfect coordination and unleashing a fatal crossfire. They are heartened that the trooper was able to share this knowledge even at the moment of death. Yes, yes, very appropriate. Let's go here. Our presence has been detected, wonderful. Direct request, bring it to me, and a direct request. <laughs> the cohort fin finds a, sarcophag a sarcophagus containing an Ekron destroyer that seems inert. It may have malfunctioned and failed to respond to the tomb's awakening protocols. 
Uh, open the sarcophagus to retreat. Yeah, that's a bad idea. Mark the sarcophagus for them to retrieve later. You know what? Let's trash it. Break it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get free blackstone out of that. I don't want that thing coming back and uh, killing all those fools trying to get it out. Let's go for this glyph next. This panel controls a heavy door leading to a treasure room beyond which is filled with cognition. If we can work out the right commands, then we can reap the rewards within. Ah, man, I don't know. Let's go to this one. Okay, you get healed again. <laughs> ah, that's unfortunate. Alright, I guess we're going to get more awakening. Yeah. Well, whatever, what can you do? This area of the Tomb of Necropis is covered in hieroglyphic centers burst with depictions of Necron constructs, most often engaged in war. Some of these images resemble the Necron destroyers with their distinctive anti-grav hulls. Examine the pictograph for evidence of destroyer battle tactics, search the pictographs for evidence of Necron philosophy and beliefs surrounding the destroyers. Weakness. Examine the pictographs for any suggestion of weaknesses in their forms. Let's go with weaknesses. Well, that's not good. Every Sky battle scene suggests the destroyers are more heavily armed, solidly armored, and mobile than any of the other numerous Necron warforms. Such a blunt illustration of this particular enemy's capabilities does little to hearten the cohort in their mission to engage in battle the destroyers. Great. Well then. Alright, another glyph. Uh, same writing as last time. Let's try this one. Oh, yay, we got black zone. Beautiful. I wish it wasn't so random. Alright, Necrons reanimate one turn faster. Let's keep going. Gotta be careful here. Transmission origin equals Necron. Xenos language study opportunity. Request study. Hark not to the aliens' words, lest ye unknowingly repeat them. True when Archmagos Veneratus Halon wrote it, Magos, true today. Alright, this chamber is bathed in constant data flow transmitted by the tomb's own awakening protocols. This transmission must be of Necron origin. Let's see, delegate, relay transmission to the Cestus Metallican for translation. Attempt to decode the translation locally with the cohorts- uh, that's a bad idea. Block out the transmission from squad communications and pay it no mind. Hmm. I th let's try to relay the, uh, let's try to relay. Well, that didn't work out. The ship's cogitators react with hostility to the alien transmission, and the machine spirit rapidly quarantines the affected machines. News of the reaches the cohort re react to the near infection of their ship with dismay. All right. I suspected that that would happen if we, we use the cohort, but since the uh, Arc Mechanicus... Arc Mechanicae, Arc Mechanicus is whatever, are very, very old Dark Age of Technology ships, I figured it would be powerful enough. But I guess the Necrons are much better. Well, regardless. Uh, let's see, another panel leading to a heavy door, and uh, let's go with this one this time. I don't know. Oh, great. Oh, of course, and our freaking... <laughs> our freaking priest takes damage. Some container. Great. And it's the same writing as before, so I suppose that uh, there's not a lot of new writing in terms of the uh, random events. I really wish it was the guy, this guy that took battle. Oh, wow. We're at level 4 now. I'm gonna have to be careful this time. Most interesting, not all forms are humanoid. Logging data, Centurion form gravity defying. The Xenos show that they are more alien than we originally thought. Text of the oiled cog V12 states one converge from the standard form, but one must always retain their humanity or be lost to the men of iron and their way. I do not mean to diverge from the discussion, but what are these iron men? Unclear. This, te this text was logged many millennia ago. There's no other reference to them in my gogitators. Keep focused, brothers. We have a new enemy afoot. New enemy afoot. Afoot. Okay, whatever. And we must ensure they do not surprise us with new trickeries. Be alert and focus. Alrighty, destroy the target. Huh. Alright, so this is gonna be tough. Oh, hello. We have a neat little uh, area here we could go through. Hmm, interesting. Alright, well. Where's the exit to this thing? Oh, there's a staircase here. Alright, well, you guys are gonna go here, and you're gonna go here. And let's see. In fact, let's get you one here, and one of you right here. 
Like so, I think. Wait, which one of you moves first? Alright, yeah, let's, let's go like that. I think that should be fine. Alright, enemies are coming along. I, I take it this is a wall. They can't actually go through that. At least I hope. Oh wow, this guy's moving. He's already moving. Alright, you need to run up. Right here, I guess. I think we should destroy everybody but the uh, the destroyer. Save him for last. You and turn. Huh. Maybe we'll get the long-ranged guy down here so that he can start firing. Oh, we got a scan thing over here. Let's try to get to that. That'd be nice. So you are going to go, I don't know, let's say get you here. get this one because there's absolutely no way we can get it otherwise and keep moving and turn you keep going and let's see let's reveal this guy's uh, statistics 22 all right that's not as bad as the Lord it's still high but it's not horrible you are going to go right here the faster we go over here the better I think and, and turn, please. Oh, now he's moving here, huh? Oh, wow, okay, he's uncomfortably close. Uh, let's see, let's get another servitor right here, just to block off this entrance. Done. You are going to go right here. Stop. You. Right, let's say here. Like that. And stop. Alright, this guy's coming along, coming along, beautiful. You, you're going to run all the way over here. I want to get to this. Alright, end turns. You can actually go right here, grab this cognition point, I think. And then the turn as you are, let this warrior form come towards you. Aha, Canoptic Scarabs, alright, let's destroy that. Now they're awakening, oh, another warrior, okay. Right, you're going to grab that immediately, which is exactly what I wanted. Hmm, we're not going to bother getting any new servitors up yet. Now you. You can go and punch these uh, scarabs, I guess. There you go. And... Stop. And you. You can actually get out of here and punch this guy, but then you're going to take a damage from that destroyer. Let's keep you delayed for now. This guy's going to fire at you, then you can come up to him. But then this guy's going to be able to fire as well. And that's exactly what I want. You. You could go up and axe this fella. Uh, but then this guy's going to be able to attack you next. But you do have cognition movement as well. Let's see. Let's pop the arc pistol right there. Oh, that's going to damage our own guy. Alright. Well then. Let's see how much HP this guy has. Five. Oh, damn. We can't. We can't do that then, can we? Did... Did this guy not damage him at all? What the hell? Huh. Yeah, these guys... These scarabs are completely unhurt. Oh, no. That's our guy that has five HP. Let's identify the scarabs HP. Okay, it has three. Alright, that's not nearly as bad. Now you are going to then go up here. You're going to smack that scarab with your axe. That should kill it. There we go. And then you're going to pop your arc pistol on this fella right here. There we go. That's a lovely lightning effect. I did enjoy that. And then you're going to go use your cognition points to go right here. He shouldn't be able to target you there. Alrighty, and you're going to end the turn. What do we have in Canticles, by the way? Yeah, 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 yeah. Canticles are basi basically one-use buffs that you can use. Alright, so. Plus physical damage, yes. Alright, so maybe you can use that to smack this guy with your axe later on. You're going to fire at this guy, which is perfectly fine. I don't mind that at all. Now you. I want you to go. Wait. I want you to delay. I want you to go right here. Hmm. 
Yeah, I want you to go right here. It's fine if you get killed, I don't really care. Yeah, I want you to smack this guy. There you go. Now you're going to stand, stand still there while you are going to go right here. This may have been a miscalculation. That'll be fine. You're gonna go here, then you're going to pop that servo skull right here, grab that cognition point, and you're gonna fire on this guy twice. Once and once again. There we go. Can't scan that, but we can move back here where we can't be hit. Alright, enter. Oh, we got more scarabs coming up here. And another Necron warrior here. Damn. Alrighty then. Now, we got two more servitors, so let's get another one going here to defend us here, and I guess one more here. That's all we got. Alright, are the destroyers moving away? Beautiful. He's, he's kind of freaking... Oh, okay, then. <laughs> wow, that uh, that looked painful. Sorry, little servitor. Nothing we can do. We gotta keep away from this guy's uh, damn weapons. Alright, so you're gonna go here. You're gonna hit this guy. Gotta destroy him immediately. And you are going to now end. This guy's going here. I could have sworn I summoned two servitors, did I not? Oh, I must have screwed it up. I swear I s Damn, that's not good. Well then, you are now going to go... You can go over here and smack this guy, or you could pop this. No, that'll hurt us. How much HP does he have? Hmm. This guy moves after, too. You know what? You're going to delay. Let this guy hit one of these, uh, these fellas. Delay turn. Yeah, you hit this guy. That probably won't kill him. Just gotta kill all these reinforcements. Alright, these scarabs are blocked. Oh, they're repairing him. Very nice. Alright, now you smack this fella. And end turn. Yeah. You. Okay, I guess you're going to go here. You're going to fire both your weapons at this fella. That should kill him. One and two. I said two. There we go. And you're going to go back here. To get away from those scarabs when they attack you. Now this warrior might actually revive, unfortunately. Because the scarabs are going to start blocking our shots and we have no other way to kill it. Uh, yeah, oh well. End turn. Oh, this guy's trying to move away. Foolish. Oh, he's going to be able to move. That's impressive. I thought he would have died, but I guess not. Okay, this guy's moving back here for some reason. Uh, you. Pop this. Oh, that still damages our own freaking guy. All right, then. Well, let's move here. Then we will fire this thing at this guy. Right there. Then we will move here. And we will smack this guy with our axe. And this guy's down. Then we'll grab that cognition point and move back here. While this servitor finishes him off. And you return, please. A new round. Alright, we're good in that regard. Do we put the servitor here? I think we put it here. This area is fine. Done. And let's see. You are going to now go right here. Finish this guy off. Like so. And move here. Hopefully this guy... Hmm, well, we'll find out, I guess. Alright, one turn. Huh, does that corpse still block stuff? I don't know. This will find out. You. Go here. Oh, actually, go... Go here. Huh. I wonder, can we draw aggro here? I was out of range. Well, pop that right there. 
And let's see, now I'm going to go here. Then pop the canticle of the craft, plus three physical damage. And with that, we can use our axe on this guy. That should bring him down, beautiful. Now with that done, we are going to move you back over here where the destroyer can't hit you. And you can finish that guy off next turn. And let's top up our cognition points like... Actually, there's no need. I don't think there... Actually, maybe there is. Top them up. I should have gotten that one, actually, but whatever. Alright, end the turn. Scarabs are going here for some psychotic reason. You are going to go right here, I suppose. You can't go here, so yeah. Go right here. And your turn. Now you need to go right... Oh, damn it, you're gonna have to waste the cognition point for this. Ah, whatever. What can you do? Go here. Pop this guy. There we go, at least we got the cognition point for that. Now, if we go here, we can actually fire on these scarabs, so let's do that. I- oh, damn it! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I meant to use this thing, ah, oh, whatever. Keep firing with your extra damage, there we go. And now... Huh. Do scarabs have opportunity? It might actually be worth it to go here, scan it, and run. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, scarabs do have opportunity, don't they? Oh! I see two opportunities. Does that mean the destroyer can actually hit us from here? Let's not do that, then. I don't like that. You are going to go back into, let's say, here. Um, and actually one more. Just in case so the destroyer doesn't come here and one-shot us. Alright, Necrons reanimate one turn faster. Unfortunate for us, but what can you do? Cognition points are back, but no new Necron warrior forms, so we're good here. You. You're gonna move right here. And you're gonna stop as you are. You. I guess you can... pop this right here. And maybe you are going to run all the way over here. There we go. Hopefully this guy starts going to us. He's freaking guarding this thing, which is what I want, which is so annoying. Alright, so you're going- you're fine here, I think. Let's get you here and end your turn. Scarabs, where are you going? Yeah, you're going here and we will shoot you. Oh, you get to recover free scarabs there? Cool. I didn't know the game did that. You can delay. You. Go here and fire both of those scarabs. Kill it. And one more time, baby. Come on. Show me why they call you Dominus. Alright, you're done there. Let's move you back into here. There we go. What are you gonna do, destroy? Yes, move into this direction. Beautiful. Now you can in turn. Let's see, do we get more warrior forms? Or are we good? Alright, you're coming here. You're going to fire against this guy. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. I don't mind. Now, off of that, what we can do is we can go right here. And we can grab a hit on you. That does barely anything. And then we can move back into here, uh, and actually move back into here. Or maybe back into he here. Come like that. And then pop this right here. Now I hope this means that the destroyer is actually aggroed towards us, so let's end the turn. While you, you just stay here as you are, delay. You, go here and scan this please. That should be some free Blackstone. Oh no, this guy just switched aggro to us. Alright, well then. Pistol. And pistol again. Man, this guy's way too much HP. 
I should have brought more powerful weapons. Well, I don't have any more powerful weapons, but uh, I could have taken an easier mission. Regardless, now you. Let's grab the cognition point from here and then move back into this. I don't believe that guy's gonna be able to, gonna be able to hit us, so let's move back right into here, I think. I don't think he'll have the angle. No, you know what? Let's just make sure. Go like this. And you know what? <laughs> Definitely sure. There we go. Oh, this guy's going here. Oh, we won't have the range now. Now you delay. Or end rather. This guy got to move twice. Oh, I didn't realize he'd get to move twice. That is going to hurt a lot. That is going to hurt tomorrow. And this guy now can't... Oh, man. Alright, well, at least this guy got to repair. Now we can't... Oh, this guy doesn't have attacks of opportunity. Ah, alright, well then. Let's pop... Oh, the love of... Alright, you, go up here. And pop this. There we go. Now you are also go up here and smack him with your axe and then run. Oh man, I should have gone up closer, damn it. That was a bit of a mistake. Now ah, whatever. And smack this guy. There we go. And now move away. Since this guy can't opportunity, you can move right back here. Alright, there goes all our cognition points, but whatever. Now you, delay, while you actually approach, go here. I don't believe that guy's close enough to kill you from. Let's go right here. I don't believe we can fire from here. No, we can't, so just go here. There we go. And then turn. Where are you gonna go? You're gonna go for this guy. All right, that's fine. You come and join this fella. And then your turn. New round. Oh, this guy's gonna get to move again? Oh, freaking hell. The double movement's really uh, hurting me. Oh, wow, six damage. You need to run, buddy. You need to run right now. Let's see, let's pop the Canticle of Life. There we go. Now, you're a little bit healthier than you were, so let's get a gun going here. We got a crit out of that. Now let's grab the cognition point here. And let's... Oh. Now you should be able to get out. Run away. I'd rather not lose this guy after we spent those points upgrading him. So you're going to go here. You're going to come up. Right here and smack that thing. There we go. You. Enter. Your machine spirit just charged. So it would be kind of wasteful to use it here. So let's just go right here. If you take a hit, that's fine. You won't die, I believe. At least I hope not. Kind of worried now. Ah, whatever. Grab this. <laughs> oh, we're gonna find out. Let's see. Enter. Alright, you're gonna go here. Are you gonna be close enough to fire? Well, you will after your second movement again. Oh, that's so annoying. Alright, well, seven damage. Alright. Yeah, this uh, repairing thing is really working out for me. Alright, now you, go here. Keep firing over there. You, move back in, and I guess you're going to hide here now. We can't have you dying, buddy. Not after all that good old-fashioned tanking. Now you, go right here. Here, I suppose. In fact, go here. You come up and get to blocking this guy, or you could hit this thing. I will destroy it. There we go. Minus two Necron Awakening. That there is that. You are going to go here. In fact, you're going to go right here. Yes. And you're gonna enter. Now you, you have two shots, so let's fire them. One, and two. Alrighty, now you are going to go and hide here. I believe we should have this. 
Unless I miscalculated somewhere, we should have this. Enter. Oh, what the hell? He's moving that way? What? Bloody damn it. <laughs> now we won't be able to hit him. <laughs> He's hiding as well. What the hell is this? You clever little bastard. Alright then. That's rude. Uh, you are just going to stay here and just keep hiding. And turn. I guess we can uh, grab this stuff. There we go. And turn, please. You. Start going forward. And turn. You. I don't know. Go. Let's say right here. I don't think this guy can reach you that soon. All right, this time he's coming. Yes, go for the servitor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for the servitor. He's almost dead. Yes, fire on the servitor. Don't care. That's what it's there for. And now, you keep preparing with your uh, filthy heretical tech. You are going to go right. Oh no, you need to go right here. Right here. And after all those hits you took, time to get your revenge, buddy. One damn hit, okay. You call that revenge? Alright, well. We got other forms of revenge. Smack him. There you go. All right, mission complete. The cohort withdraws from the tomb, having experienced the process prowess rather of the Necron destroy Necrons destroyers first at hand. All right, if nothing else, the Adeptus Mechanicus have learned of the stark danger these Necron warforms pose. Anti gravity compression index plus three point nine percent. Projected beneficiary equals Stygi error. Adeptus Mechanicus. <laughs> ah, okay, Bola. I am focused on matters much more, much closer in space and time, Scavola. Retrieving Tech Acquisitor's statement of purpose to perceive the grander picture, to strive to acquire and understand for the benefit of all mankind. Be that as it may, I am more interested in how your studies will help our mission on Silva Tenebris. Platitude mode. Trust in the scientific method, Magos. Pl end platitude. Ah. <laughs> uh. What's an amusing character? There's gotta be at least one funny character, just like Za in the uh, Battlefleet Gothic campaign. Alrighty, we got that destroyer kill, mission success, some decent amount of blackstone. Cognition gauge max increase size is the good thing here. Alrighty, close that. And we got this, Blessings of the Omnissiah, plus three cognition points, not too bad at all. Taming of the Machine Spirit, yet another canticle. Max the Machine Spirit of all weapons, raising their voices in bin Binharic praise. The Disciples of the Machine God bolster their spirits from the Surety of Iron. Surety of Iron. Hmm. And another one, plus five movement for one round, alright. So now we have plenty of choice with our canticles. But that choice and the rest of the customization will have to wait until next episode. So we have Blackstone to upgrade to these guys. We are going to do that next time and we are going to keep going on missions, but we have run out of time now, so I'm going to have to call this episode here. So with that said, as always, I do appreciate any and all feedback with regards to the gameplay or the way I do things on this channel. If you have a second, please do take it to leave a like and or a comment to support the channel. It really, really does help. As always, thanks for watching.